Okay, here's your warm-up help for week 25. Make sure you copy down the problems and turn it in by Tuesday. Okay, here's number one. And again, the key word in here is how much room is in the compartment. So that tells me I'm doing volume, which is V equals length times width times height in units square cubed. So my length, it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to say my length is 20. I'm going to say my width is 8, and the height is 10. Not sure if this one went through or not, so I'm going to try it again. So I have my triangle, which is A equals base times height divided by 2. My base is 8. My height is 7 divided by 2. I get 56 divided by 2, which is 28 centimeters squared. Since this triangle and this triangle are the same, I have two triangles with 28 centimeters squared. So that's how I find those two. The next shape I'm going to do is this one right there. It's a rectangle, which is A equals base times height. Again, my base is 8. My height is 12. It doesn't matter what, how you do it because community property. So I'm going to multiply it, get 96 centimeters squared. Well, I know that this rectangle is the same as this one and this one. So they all have an area of 96 centimeters squared. So I'm going to add these three together and these two together and that's going to give me my total surface area of 344 centimeters squared. Number four, it's saying the fish tank, how many cubic inches of water can it hold? So that tells me I'm doing volume which is V equals length times width times height. Now my length is 14, my width is 6, and my height is nine and a half. Since I have a fraction there, I'm going to change all of these to fractions over one. I'm going to change this one to an improper by multiplying, adding, so I get 19 over two. Now I have 14 over one times six over one times 19 over two. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 14 times six, which is 84 times 19, which is 1,596, and I'm going to divide that by 2, which is going to give me the total volume of this fish tank as 798 inches cubed. Okay, this problem right here, number 5, was this one 6 and then 7. So that's how we keyed it in. The first one says, what is the volume of each box? And each box is right there. Here's the formula written down. So all I'm going to do is multiply. V is going to be 2.5 times 2.5 times 2.5. When I multiply all of that together, I get a volume of each box as 115 and 625 feet cubed. So the volume of this is 15 and 625. Sorry about that. Then I'm going to find the volume of the cargo truck. Again, there's my formula. So I'm going to multiply uh, 7.5 times 15 times 7.5. So I'm going to multiply 15 times 7.5 times 7.5. And when I do that, I'm going to get a volume of the truck as 843.75. Since I know each box has a volume of 15 and 6, 25, I want to see how many of these little boxes is going to fit into the truck there. 
So since I'm figuring out how many pieces will go into it, I'm going to divide. So I'm going to take my 843 and 75 hundreds, and I'm going to divide it by 15 and 625. And that's going to give me how many of those boxes will fit into the truck, and that's going to be a total of 54 boxes. So just in case you couldn't see my work, and I know it's sloppy here, I don't have my pen, but I'm finding the volume of the box first, and then the truck, and then I'm dividing it to get my answer of 54. So first I find the volume of the smaller pieces to see how many would go into the larger um, truck, and that's going to give me 54. Okay, this very last one is asking again for volume. So you're doing length times width times height. This time it's a cube, so it's three-fourths times three-fourths times three-fourths. When I multiply three times three, I get nine. Nine times three, I get 27. When I multiply four times four, I get 16. Times four, I get 64. So my answer is 27 64 centimeters squared. Make sure you turn this in to me by Tuesday.